guys, it's Renee. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about some new innovations in Korean skincare, specifically multitaskers or super tasker products. These are products that can be used in multiple ways or hybrid products that combine multiple functions in our skincare routine. I've been trying these out for a while now, a few months I'd say, and I am ready to review them. These are wonderful if you're easing your way into a multi-step skincare routine and you just can't deal with so many products yet. Been there. When I find myself using these products the most is in the mornings when you know you just need to get things, you just need to go. This is also great if your skin just really wants that extra super boost of nutrition from one product. And seriously guys, these products are so great for travel when you don't want to be bogged down with a whole bunch of heavy products, you just need one or two. I love how elegant and simple the packaging of this is, it's really beautiful. So the texture of this is not that of your traditional cream, but it's not an unfamiliar texture to a lot of Asian skincare products. It's got that sort of gel-like, viscous, stretchy, bouncy kind of texture. Ingredients-wise, there is a hefty measure of niacinamide in here. This ingredient really helps elasticity as it increases the levels of ceramide and fatty acids in your skin cells, and that creates a stronger barrier that also helps keep in the moisture. This is also a fantastic ingredient when it comes to lightening pigmentation on your skin. This is also rich in humectants. It's got glycerol, sodium hyaluronate. This also has ceramide 3 in it, um, olive oil, shea butter, but this is also packed solid with some fabulous plant oils and extracts like honey, ginseng, rice bran. It's got vitamin E in it. There's just so much good stuff in here. So there are three ways in which we are told we can use this, but I use this most commonly as a moisturizer because I believe that this is probably first and foremost a moisturizer. The application of this feels simply glorious, and that's probably due in no small part to its distinctive texture. This goes on immediately soothing and cooling. It spreads beautifully. This feels very, very light on the skin, but it is seriously heavy duty when it comes to holding in moisture, probably more so than most anything I've tried. It is not like most creamy moisturizers, it's not creamy in its texture or even oily or greasy in that way, but it keeps your skin feeling like volumized and hydrated for hours. Like I would find myself throughout the day sort of just feeling the surface of my skin and it would feel hydrated. After applying, you're definitely going to feel some stickiness um, and you should really wait a few minutes before you apply your makeup. I will say this though, I find this to be a great makeup primer because it really sticks the makeup to it. It's got that sort of natural, pleasant um, herbal smell. I would say it's slightly fragranced and to me it's not that strong. This is great for all skin types. If you have any kind of dehydration issues, this is going to work wonders. This can also be used for facial massage. I have massaged this into my face. It's not greasy, it's not oily. I feel that this actually absorbs really quickly though, so it's not a long facial massage. Another way in which you can use this, and this I love, is as an overnight mask. So I'll layer this over my other moisturizers or I'll just put a thicker layer of this on top of my skin before I go to sleep. And through the night, it will absorb into your skin. In the morning when you wash your face afterwards, well, your skin's just not gonna feel much better than that. These are very special products. The Press Serum is a serum moisturizer hybrid. It's got the potent concentration of ingredients of a serum with that added comfort and hydration of a moisturizer. It's like the best of both worlds. So this has the one-two punch of all the serum ingredients that sink into your skin and then the blanket of moisturizer that just locks all the goodness in with hydration. Blythe is a brand that I'm just really, really loving and enjoying. I'm loving all their innovative products and their brand philosophy is just really wonderful. Um, their aim is to make products that are uncompromising, that can make a busy woman's life just a lot easier. So we'll talk first about the Chata Tundra, which combines the best of both worlds in some crazy texture. This has a texture of like a custard flan or like silken tofu. It's very pudding-like. But when you apply it, 
it's light and watery. So mushrooms appear a lot in skincare because of their very potent antioxidant content. Now the chaga mushroom, it grows on trees, but in the tundra, which is really like the coldest environment or climate in the world. This particular chaga mushroom has enough vitality to survive in such a cold and hostile environment. And this is packed with antioxidants, which great for anti-aging. One rarely sees face creams this color, and this beautiful caramel color comes from the fact that the formulation is 60% chaga tundra mushroom extract, which is truly amazing for a cream to have that high of a concentration of an antioxidant ingredient. A special slow cooling process over a 36 hour period is used to preserve all the nutrients of the chaga mushroom, which is usually compromised by flash heating. Other ingredients include fermented natural oils like olive oil and argan oil, and this fermentation process makes these oils absorb more thoroughly and faster without leaving a trace or an oily film on the surface of the skin. This is immediately hydrating and it absorbs into your skin, leaving it feeling so well nourished and healthy and robust. If you have normal to combination skin, you can get away with an old school three-step skincare routine with this. Cleansing, toning, bam! If you need extra moisturization or nourishment, then just use this as a cream after your serum. Or if you're really dry, use this as a super moisturizing serum and then apply your more emollient cream over it. And like the Joseon Dynasty cream, this can also be used as an overnight mask. So recently I've been pretty lazy. I would use this right after toner, but I would mix in with it a few drops of my favorite camellia oil and it's just been dreamy. The crystal ice plant is lighter and more gel-like in texture. It is very, very refreshing, and as the Chaga Tundra is for anti-aging, this is more for oilier combination skin, or if you have very inflamed skin and need some calming, or during hot, hot days. The ice plant grows in drought-tolerant landscapes like the Sahara Desert, so they survive in areas where water is very, very limited. So this product is all about deep hydration. This formulation has 63% ice plant extract, and it just draws water into your skin without any heaviness or oiliness. This also cools the skin, as I mentioned in my cushion foundation review video. Um, the cooler the temperature of your skin, the less sebum it produces. Now, these two products are three-in-one products. They are toner, serum, and moisturizer in one. Recently, I've been addicted to this honey balm. I can't get enough of it. Nothing makes my skin glow more. My complexion looks amazing with this on, even when I put makeup over it, and I do find that this is like a great makeup primer. Like all the other products I've mentioned in this video, the consistency is impossibly light for how well it hydrates and moisturizes my skin throughout the day. It keeps it moisturized and hydrated all day, which for someone with dry dehydrated skin, you are very familiar with how much drier skin gets throughout the day. And there have definitely been days where I've just cleansed my skin, used this, put on my SPF, and worn makeup, and it's been fine. But on most days, I will use a toner and a serum and this over it because I just need that extra boost. And again, like the others, this is also fantastic as an overnight mask. It is just so nourishing and comforting for dry skin. So this has three types of honey in it, Manuka, Royal Jelly, and Propolis. And also there are no added dyes in this, so this golden honey color actually comes from the honey extracts. And just like the Joseon Dynasty Cream, this has a humongous dose of niacinamide in here, as well as bamboo extract, the healing and soothing sea buckthorn, aloe vera, and sodium hyaluronate. This was formulated to just be super light in consistency. It's not emulsive or gooey um, or sticky in any way, but it packs a powerful punch. The berry balm is exactly that. It is fortified with the extracts of five super antioxidant berries. You could use this in the same way as you would the honey balm or any of the other products we talked about in this video. But the way I like to use this the most is as an overnight mask. I wake up to super brightened skin. Well, that's it for my multifunctioning super tasker product review. I love these products so much. I feel skincare really is just getting better and better. So I just want to thank you for watching again. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments down below. If you've tried any of these products, please tell me what your experience is with them. And I will see you next time. Bye.